Hey everyone and welcome back to Melbourne Railway Videos. I'm here today at the brand new Narry Warren Station on the Pakenham Line. I should say brand new in terms of just having received an upgrade, a rebuild if you will. Narry Warren's been here for a long time, just not looking this nice. Um, we've got HCMT set 27 departing. really rockets out of here because I mean there's the gaps between stations on the back of the line especially at this end quite large so the trains really hit high speeds and it's not that way spirit. Alright let's check out the place so first thing to notice is this big station open sign which might seem a bit redundant but for the last probably six months um, They've had the line operating, but the station not quite open. Maybe six months is a bit too long, but it's been a bit less than that. Um, so this is just to remind drivers that they can't just, you know, absolutely hammer through this station anymore. Um, all right, so it's sort of in this newer style of Skyrail, which in my opinion isn't as nice, um, where you've got two side platforms and um, this sort of, like annoyingly fenced off area in the middle like I get that it's for safety regulations but it just it's a bit of an eyesore all these fences in the middle um, but anyway so um, the good thing about this is it doesn't actually have to descend that far to get onto the rail corridor at the other end because it sort of goes up a bit of a hill um, that underpass up that way was already there um, it's not part of this level crossing removal as far as I'm concerned, unless I'm mistaken. Um, now let's look this way. So yeah, I'm on platform two. I mean, this station just seems, it feels very similar to Moreland, to Coburg, to um, Hallam. You know, all these stations kind of have very similar designs, which makes sense. I mean, it saves um, doing too much work architecturally, because there's so much planning involved, you might as well um, make a few savings um, but yeah that, the shelter's not too bad um, definitely seen worse with new stations um, like I, I prefer I, I wish they kind of had a shelter like all the way along or at least halfway along so you, you know because you just can't you can't get to the exit without being rained on if it is raining um, but you know, it's, it's good to have something. I think it's a shame that they didn't just plug this gap all the way along. I mean, I would have saved having all these you know, four sets of fences instead of just two. It looks a lot nicer. Anyway, <laughs> I'm always a massive fan of this. Drink up. Turn it on. Okay, so we've got waste of water. And this is the main part of the station building. Uh, stairs going down. Narry Warren is not a, sta a um, staff station. I'm pretty sure it isn't, at least it might be. Um, yeah, plenty of room on the stairs. It's good, it's not too narrow. So it's, it's actually, um, it automatically de detects your presence in the area and activates a lift, which might see a few unnecessary lift movements but going down yeah but at least it saves people yeah. having to touch the button doors closing of course this lift smells very doors new doors opening and there will be a second lift soon which seems like overkill but i guess it's just a contingency for if one of the lifts break down or um need maintenance or something like that you can see that there's still a lot of construction to, that still needs to be done um, they'll fix up these car parks, this inter car parks I should say. So this is the concourse here at Narry Warren. Um, plenty of space underneath which is great and very easy to navigate to both platforms. Sign saying platform one makes it easy for commuters. 
and I was wrong. This is actually a staff station because there's customer service here, so that's good. So this is where the old level crossing used to be. Um, <laughs> clearly it's no longer here. There's um, a bus stop here, but it's not here as to what route comes here yet. Um, if there even is a route that goes along here at the moment, I mean, it might be a new route. Actually, no, there are three routes, so... Um, yeah, those three. But it's, it's good that they've actually built the bus stop underneath the railway line to provide shelter. I think that's really smart. Um, but as you can see, there's, there's heaps of work still to be done underneath. Um, probably all be par car parking. I hope that there'll be some nice public spaces, maybe a basketball court or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's nice that they've, that they've done this. Here's a look at the works on the, what did you say, what would you say, the southern side, the, the, the western side perhaps, um, look into its Pakenham. And I'm a big fan of this, having the station name clearly visible to people driving past. I think this should be rolled out throughout the network and it does seem like it's being incorporated into the standard designs. I mean, there's something like this in greens, but I'm just off the top of my head. And yeah, there's, there's the bridge. It's interesting that it's a low clearance bridge, um, only 4.6 metres, but I mean, if it save, saves costs, I doubt there'd be too many trucks going down this way. I mean, it's not going to be like the Montague Street Bridge, we hope. Uh, but yeah, this is what it looks like walking into the station. At the moment, it will look a lot nicer soon. Customer service is on the left. And just a bit further down, you get to the stairs. There's no Mikey barriers here, just the simple readers. We've got a train arriving. HCMT set 19. Yeah, this will be it for the video. Thanks for watching. I rate the station a 7 out of 10. Um, yeah, it's a nice station. Nothing to blow you away, but it's good. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time.